What's up, you guys? Sean Ross Sapp, Fightful.com, FightfulWrestling.com, here with a bit of a breaking news audio, so to speak. A couple of releases in WWE. Sin Cara and Luke Harper. Uh, Luke Harper recently trademarked his Brody Lee name that he used on the independent circuit. Uh, Harper had been a part of the Wyatt family, the Bludgeon Brothers, uh, had been an intercontinental champion, but the... It just never quite worked out. Uh, the Wyatt family were perpetually hurt. One of the three at all times, whether it be Bray, Luke Harper, or Eric Rowan. Uh, WDB is going a different direction with Eric Rowan. But let's be honest. They've gone different directions with all three of those guys on multiple occasions. So it's, it's kind of wild. You can never rule out a Wyatt family reunion, so to speak. And, I mean, this was a, a trio that looked like they could help revolutionize the company. And Luke Harper is a fantastic wrestler. NXT Tag Team Champion. He was an Intercontinental Champion briefly. Uh, he held the SmackDown Tag Team Championships a couple times. But, it was I mean, he was a part of some great matches with The Shield and just really great, great moments. But creatively... He never quite got utilized. And was that his fault? Not really. Was it WWE's fault? Not necessarily. As I mentioned, there were a whole lot of injuries that went down. A ton of injuries that, that prevented the Wyatt family from being healthy at the same time and really taking off in, in the way that anybody would have wanted to. The three could not stay healthy at the same time. And that's not, none of their fault. None of them. I mean, Luke Harper's been wrestling... Since his early 20s, he's, th he's about to be 40. Uh, next week, he'll be 40. And uh, he is a six foot five, 260-pound guy that is going to get bookings. The world is his oyster in professional wrestling. He will have as many options as he wants. You mean to tell me AEW couldn't use another six foot five guy? You're damn right they could. Mean to tell me Ring of Honor wouldn't fall all over themselves to sign him right now? Yes, they would. Impact Wrestling, New Japan, all likely to be suitors for Luke Harper. Now, I talked to somebody familiar with the situation earlier this year about uh, Vince McMahon not liking Luke Harper. They said, I don't know what the issue was with Luke Harper, but it seemed like Vince McMahon made his mind up on him long ago. Now, I was a bit surprised to hear that. He looks like the kind of guy that Vince McMahon would love to push. It, it's like if the Barbarian, or not the Barbarian, it's like if the Berserker didn't suck. That's who Luke Harper is. He's very good. He's excellent in the ring. He, he's got the facial expressions and the emotions down just extremely well. He's there. He's got it. We'll come back to him. Sin Cara. Also released. Now, this, is, of course, is the second iteration of Sin Cara, the guy who formerly played Hunico. Now, uh, perhaps a, a surprise to me was that he would want his release because he had a pretty secure spot in the company. They, they didn't want to let anybody go. He had a multi, or it seemed like he had a multi-year deal. Looked like he was good to go. He's in his, uh, I think I think he's 42, 43. Former tag team champion. But he actually uh, played the original Mystico back in Mexico. Which was then taken over by the eventual first Sin Cara. Uh, his team with Kalisto was broken up. And I thought that was really the best role for both of them. But Kalisto got the Lucha House Party and... Sin Cara got nothing. He was on the sidelines for a full year. They brought him back this year, and he, and he had uh, Catalina with him, but wasn't winning matches. Just wasn't victorious at all, ever. He would work Andrade and get beat, and that's okay. You, you could do a lot worse. Won uh, the NXT Tag Team Championships with Kalisto. For some reason, I thought they won the, the SmackDown Tag Titles too, but I guess they didn't. But man, yeah, Sin Cara out there as well. Now, the thing is, if WWE wants to continue the Sin Cara gimmick, they can do that. If they feel like they've got so much invested in the Sin Cara character, 
Well, sure. Why wouldn't they? I mean, for the love of God, they they had this one take over for another guy. I I don't really see a problem with that. Now, if they want to just scrap it and say, you know what, we we beaten this guy down so much that we don't want to do it anymore, that's fine. I mean, TNA has had or Impact Wrestling has had. Suicide, Manic, whoever that may be, at, at any given time and had a plethora of people play it, many of which who should have never had to play it. But I, I don't mind them using the Sin Cara gimmick and putting different people under it. I don't mind that at all. George Arias will, will go on and he'll probably work under uh, Incognito or I doubt he'll, he'll be able to use the Mystico name. But he won't be Sin Cara anymore. That's done. And uh, it, WWE releasing multiple people that have asked for their releases. Luke Harper asked for his release way back in April. Finally happened. And the thing is, I believe his contract was set to be up this month anyway. Sin Cara, on the other hand, asked for his release. And uh, they, they put him on ice for about a month, sent him home. There you go. Would not shock me to see Mike Kanellis given his release too after he's asked for it. Now, uh, of course, that hasn't happened yet. But uh, w- operating on the assumption that it will, I think ROH could be a home for him. I think that they would serve very well. They, I think Ring of Honor would love to have Mike Kanellis, Mike Bennett, back with Matt Taven. That's the best version of Matt Taven that we've seen. And they obviously like Matt Taven a lot. And uh, Mike Bennett's best environment, in my opinion, was Ring of Honor. I like that one. As far as Sin Cara, I don't know where the hell he'll end up. I can't imagine him going to AEW. I can't imagine him going to Ring of Honor. I'm sure he could land in AAA or CMLL somewhere, maybe. I don't know his connections. I know that he uh, he worked regularly for AAA for a while. But I, I don't know that, that there are going to be a lot of people like coming for his services. I could honestly, it would not shock me one bit. Would not shock me one bit to see Sin Cara fighting in Combate Americas next year it wouldn't wouldn't be surprising at all so if we're, we're to say likely landing point for luke harper i would say aew maybe ring of honor new japan right up there with ring of honor Sin Cara, i legitimately think the most likely landing place for him is combate americas dude gets in fights we hear about it all the time they seem to like people like that they brought in sexy star they got alberto del rio they had Thunder Rosa fight for them. I'm sure they would love to have Sin Cara fight for them. As far as uh, Mike Bennett, assuming he gets his release as he has asked for it, I think that Ring of Honor would be the place that he ends up. Just think so. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe. Till next time, we're out.